Greetings all. On this video, I'd like to show you how I stack reverb pedals to get really cool ambient guitar sounds. Let's get to work. I recently posted an ambient guitar meditation in which I stacked three different reverb pedals together and I'd like to break it down and along the way show you some of the concepts that I use to build a stacked reverb tone. So let's get started with the Source Audio Ventress, a really nice reverb pedal that can actually do two different reverbs together. And here's what I've got dialed up. All right, that's a really cool sound. Now, basically what that is, is again, it's two different reverbs that are running together on the Ventress. So with one pedal, I've already got some reverb stacking going on. Reverb number one is called Offspring and it creates a delay-like effect with a reverb. It's actually the reverb decay repeating over and over again. Pretty cool. The second reverb is a reverse reverb, which many, many, um, I, I know of several reverb pedal options that can do this. Okay, so this makes it really nice for playing chords and arpeggios. Yeah. So that's cool. So that's kind of, I, I don't know if this is really tips, but tip number one, I guess, would be select some complementary reverb types as you're building your layers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw another layer on with the Boss RV500, and let's listen to this one by itself. Okay, so if you're familiar with reverb types, I'll bet you can guess what this is. That's right, it's a hall reverb. It's set pretty high in the mix, after all, it is ambient guitar. Now, if I combine the Source Audio Ventress with that Offspring Delayed Reverb and Reverse Reverb, here's what I get. I like that a lot. Um, I, the hall reverb here kind of just fills everything out. So that's actually another tip. Use a second reverb pedal to fill out whatever's going on with the first reverb pedal. So I, you know, in some cases, I don't put that longest, biggest reverb sound up front. I kind of save it for later so it can provide that filling, if you will. The third reverb pedal that I used in the piece is the Strymon Big Sky, and here's what I have dialed up. Okay, and that is the non-linear reverb type. And as you can hear, it's got a reverse reverb-y kind of sound, but it is different from the Source Audio Ventress. Let's listen to that one. Okay, so Source Audio's a very quick kind of reverse reverb versus the non-linear Big Sky. Okay. And it repeats, I should mention that. All right, so if we add the hall reverb from the DD, uh, sorry, the RV500, here's what we get. Now, that's kind of cool. So what you can hear going on is I've got the hall reverb first. And then because of the non-linear reverb after it, the hall reverb actually kind of repeats over and over again. Well, over a couple of times, anyhow. And then if we add the source audio ventress with the offspring and the reverse reverbs, here's what we get.
I really like that sound a lot. It worked really well, I think, um, with the piece that I recorded. Now, what else can you do with this combination of reverbs? So it's really good for playing volume swells. And one of the things about playing volume swells with this combination of reverbs is that the nonlinear and the reverse reverb kind of dynamic disappears. It smooths out because you're swelling in the notes of the guitar. So I guess that's another tip to think about is what <laughs> what are you going to be doing in terms of your playing technique? Are you going to be using hard percussive sounds or volume swells or somewhere in between? That could very well affect the reverb selections that you make as you build the layers of reverbs. Another thing to consider with this type of setup with multiple stacked reverbs is the use of distortion. I find sometimes it can be problematic. So for example, you know, if I'm playing a, a gosh, I don't know, a distorted tone with a lot of chord, you know, chord rhythms. That's kind of a mess, right? Now, if I turn off, some of these guys, then it gets a little bit better. In particular, if I just have the hall. Okay, so again, think about the tone of the guitar. Now, I should mention for this patch, this stacked, this stack of reverbs, if I'm playing volume swell leads, well, you know, it's pretty cool actually. It's all about context. What are you playing? What's your tone? That's gonna drive the stacked reverb selections that you make. Well, I hope this walkthrough has been helpful uh, to you as you consider how you might stack reverb pedals to get a nice, complex, uh, multi-layered sound. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe here. Chords of Orion, I'm Bill, by the way. Love to have you on board and I will see all of you on the next video.